what do you think the importance of fitness is for kind of executive professionals and professionals in healthcare? Um, what, how important do you think it is and, you know, for, for an individual and how should they approach that? Yeah, no, it's, it's a brilliant question. I think that's always where I start with clients or trying to understand the topic is we have to understand why, you know, what what's the reason we're going to, you know, put our energy into anything, anything we do, right? So you can look, look at it from lots of different aspects. I think if you're, if we gave a sort of specific context of, you know, executive who has, you know, quite a busy job, you know, relatively high, high stress, they might have kids. Um, so from the, one of the most basic things is obviously we spoke about is that sort of longevity and, and health span, you know, resistance training. So exercising where you're stressing your muscles, you know, squats, lunges, hinging, you know, pushing, pulling everything that we we've done when we've trained that you've <laughs> had a great time doing. <laughs> it's worth it. It's, it's, it's worth not it. easy. <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, from, from that perspective, obviously he's going to be able to live a, a longer, healthier life. Um, and obviously see his kids grow up and see you know grand grandkids and and things like that so from that perspective and then the different perspective is it's one of the best ways to relieve stress you know manage stress um especially if your sort of aerobic capacity or your aerobic fitness is is very high you're going to be able to sleep better you know manage the you know your daily stress is a lot better um i think yeah th those are two two really really big elements um you know that people suffer with a lot at the moment you know, there's a huge demand for people managing managing how stressed they are um you know manage your stress you're going to sleep better um and even from the the performance side of it so i work with some some corporate clients as well in t improving you know their actual performance you know investment private equity things like that if you're if you're fitter, you're stronger, you're healthier, your you know your cognitive performance is going to be increased as well. So yeah, there's lots of different aspects that you can you can look at it. Yeah, I find that because I mostly do my training in the morning. So yeah, I find that it really um, gets your blood pumping, gets oxygen to the brain, and then you start in a better cognitive way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's it's one of the best things. Obviously, you can if you can you know with your schedule do it in the morning is is really beneficial but you know some people can't and that's fine so it's about finding what works with your specific context um but yeah doing it in the morning personally i find it's a great way to start your day you're gonna have a m much more productive day you're gonna feel better um yeah and as you said the brain is going to be more alert to function function better as well and do you find that um it helps you manage your own stress and mental, you know. And do you have, do you get stressed? Yeah, no, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, definitely. So, it's, I think the the older I get, obviously, I'm I'm not that old at the moment, but the older I get, definitely the the stress, the more stressed I get, and that that sort of part of life, isn't it? You know, you have more responsibility. Um, that that sort of natural, but yeah, I think everyone manages stress in different ways um and there's lots of different ways that you can manage stress um one of the best ways for me is just really taking a walk taking a walk out in nature is is really good um so from the sort of specific science side of it is sort of when you're walking and you have different things going past your vision it's you go into something called optical flow and it sort of deactivates the activation in your amygdala, which is a sort of the the sort of stress and alert aspect of your brain. So especially if that's sort of really active, if you're feeling sort of stressed or anxious, you know, something as simple as going for a walk, you know, walking in nature, you know, trying to breathe in and out through your nose as well is going to help slow your heart rate down. Your nervous system is going to go into a, a slightly more what we call parasympathetic state. So you're going to relax and you're going to calm down. So that's a that's a really good, you know, useful tip that I I personally will use quite a lot. Um, and obviously, 
being fitter, being stronger, you're going to be able to tolerate stress a little bit more. Um, so from the actual physical training side of it, and then the nutrition side is one of the best ways really is to reduce alcohol. Um, so alcohol increases your sort of susceptibility to stress. You know, if you're drinking quite a lot, you're going to find yourself feeling more stressed in situations you might not normally feel stressed so that's also something to consider as well mm -hmm. and i found with the alcohol as well i mean you know everyone likes to drink especially at this time of year but absolutely i find that you know you can have ups and downs more ups and downs you know when you're on that night out it feels great yeah. but the next morning it's harder to get up yeah yeah you feel feel worse for wear definitely yeah. um but yeah it's also the sort of the prolonged effects um and the sort of chronic chronic effects of sort of consistent consistent drinking um but yeah we're approaching silly season so it is uh, <laughs> it is the time everyone i think you've got to indulge a little bit yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. i think i guess going back to your earlier question in terms of how my approach might might differ to others i think it's really important to have that that balance um and I, and I sort of stay away from the, you know, the real extreme, I guess, like bodybuilders or, you know, physique competitors that are so, are so sort of dedicated and regimented in terms, of, you know, tracking every single thing they're eating. But then, you know, being healthy and, and being fit, it's not just about, you know, how you look, it's about, you know, how you feel about yourself, it's about your social connection with others, um, so yeah, balance generally, I think, is is a really important element to to consider. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's interesting as well. They um had done some studies on the fact that actually a lot of bodybuilders are metabolically unhealthy. Yeah, you know, absolutely. The strain they put their bodies under physically, and you know, calorifically, yeah. and uh, you know, all of those things. Um, that it's not necessarily healthy, even though they look great yeah yeah i think that that's a really important point to raise that i will always say that sort of you know health and fitness are obviously extremely interlinked but then they're exactly what you're saying someone might look really fit but then on the inside they might be you know very unhealthy you know especially sort of the habits that they do um in terms of drugs as well you know obviously the the far end of the spectrum of of bodybuilding um but also um yeah just considering those those other aspects so.